If you want to know everything about vertical live streams showing up in the YouTube Shorts feed, this is your ultimate guide. I'm going to show you what it looks like to the viewers so that you as a creator know what experience you're creating. I'm going to show you how to create vertical lives for your own channel from desktop software and very important things to know before you get started. I'm Laria Petrucci. Let's dig in. Let's talk about the viewer side. What are the viewers seeing when they see your live stream show up in the Shorts feed? From the viewer side, when you're using the main YouTube app, then you click into the Shorts tab, you'll now occasionally see a preview of a live stream in that Shorts feed. So as you scroll through regular Shorts, and sometimes you'll encounter a live. This is to help creators get bigger and wider discovery to a new audience and for viewers to discover new creators. It works hand in hand. And yes, this works on desktop and the TV viewing as well. And this is where a lot of people get confused. When you're in the shorts feed, you're only seeing a preview. You cannot comment from the shorts feed. When you click watch live, then it takes you to that stream in the vertical live feed where you can interact with the stream. So there's the shorts feed and there's the vertical live feed, two different things. The second way you can get to the vertical live feed is by clicking the shorts tab, then tapping the screen to pause a short. Then you're going to see the live tab at the top. Click that and you're now in the vertical live feed so that as you scroll through, you're seeing all and only vertical live streams. Once you're there, you can click the three dots to like, dislike, share, read the description, and more. Side note, as a creator, you will need to educate viewers where to locate that like button if that's a priority for you. And yes, YouTube has some major work to do on the interface and usability of this experience, and I'm sure that we'll see improvements in the future. If we do, you're going to find updated videos in the description below. Now, the third place that viewers can find your vertical lives are on your channel channel page underneath the live tab. Both vertical and horizontal streams will show here. If a viewer is watching a vertical live on the TV, they're going to see the black bars on the sides. Now, let's look at it from the creator side. How do you actually create a vertical live video that does get discovery from the shorts feed? A couple of really important things to remember here. Only vertical live streams will show in the shorts or vertical live feed. Landscape or regular streams will not be there. Yes, you can stream both vertical and live at the same time on the same channel. There is a separate tutorial for that listed in the description. So from your computer, the only thing you need to do in order to stream in vertical mode is literally change the aspect ratio. In Ecamm, you're going to find that in the preferences tab. So you'll click Ecamm live, then preferences, then you'll change the stream shape to tall, 916 aspect ratio. If you're using StreamYard, you're going to come into your dashboard and click create. Choose a new live stream and choose the channel. Now I'm going to do this privately, but you're going to do it publicly and then create the live stream. Make sure your settings are correct. We're just going to use my regular camera. Then click general and make sure you click orientation portrait. And now you are ready to enter your studio. There we go. And now you're ready to go live. The other thing to note is that you really should be ready for moderation on these vertical lives. You're getting a totally different audience than you're used to. They're coming in from quick short form content. So they are likely more hit and miss, likely to ask random questions and weird questions and feel random than your normal audience and expect trolls. So finger at the ready for moderation or have a channel moderator with you. Don't forget to arrange comments so that they fit in the vertical aspect ratio, by the way, then just click go live. Notifications will go out just like any other stream and you'll be in the vertical live feed and hopefully pop up into the shorts feed on occasion as well. I have a playlist of vertical live tutorials and strategies, including ideas for what kind of content you should even do vertically, because I guarantee not every kind of content will be beneficial to your audience growth. Check all of that out here and I will see you in the next video.